This is Tim Bryce with my column titled, Microsoft Dust Off Speech Recognition. On October 19, 2016, Microsoft announced a new speech recognition technology that reportedly transcribes conversational speech as well as a human does, with an error rate of just 5.9%. As such, they claim this is a historic achievement. In theory, people will be able to issue commands to the computer and write text using voice commands to either your PC or smartphone. Don't get too excited just yet. This is actually an old technology. Back in 1996, with the advent of OS 2 Warp 4, speech navigation and voice type dictation was embedded in the operating system. As you may remember, OS 2 was IBM's alternative to Windows on the PC. It was an excellent operating system, and I still have two computers running it flawlessly, but there was just one problem with it. IBM didn't know how to market it and abdicated the desktop to Microsoft. OS2 users, including yours truly, still recognize it as head and shoulders above anything Microsoft has produced, but that's another story. Under OS2, the user wore a voice-activated microphone headset. From it, the user could navigate the computer using the commands found on action bars and pull-down choices. For example, file, new, open, print, save, exit, close, find, undo, OK cancel. You get the idea. Frankly, it was quite efficient in operation and freed the user from simple tasks used with the keyboard and mouse. The second part was voice type dictation, which allowed the user to dictate text for word processors, emails, and just about anything requiring text entries. Before you could use it, though, they provided a routine which allowed you to train the computer. This was done by reading sections of literature from Mark Twain and took approximately one hour. The voice type dictation was effective, but many people didn't believe the computer could keep up with them and lost interest. As an aside, I suspect people no longer possess the skills needed to dictate a letter, something that has been lost in time as well as the shorthand language. Another software product that acted in a similar manner was Dragon Naturally Speaking by Nuance Communications in 1997 for use on the Windows platform. It is still actively marketed to this day. Other packages are also available. Microsoft's announcement is welcome news if it can process text faster and more accurately. Unfortunately, their announcement didn't include a video or sample application to demonstrate their technology. The company even admits in their announcement the technology still has a long way to go before it can claim to master meaning and contextual awareness. For more information on Microsoft's speech recognition project, go to news.microsoft.com. It's interesting. OS2 users always knew the operating system was way ahead of its time. Now we know precisely how many years ahead it was. 20. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.